In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see about synchronous culture. It refers to growth of the bacterial population is happening in such a way all bacterial cells of the population are physiologically identical that is in the same stages of cell division cycle at any given time. Thus, synchronous culture or synchronous growth helps in studying particular stages or cell division cycles and their interrelationship. In most of the bacterial cultures, the stages of growth and cell division cycle are completely random in happening. So, it becomes difficult to understand the properties during the course of the cell division by using such culture. So, in order to overcome the randomness in the cell division, microbiologists have developed the synchronous culturing technique. It allows synchronous growth of the bacterial population. Thus, synchronous culture is the one in which a synchronous growth can be experienced. That is, all the bacterial cells of the population will be physiologically identical and in the same stage of cell division cycle at any given time. In general, two methods were available for producing the synchronous culture. One is induction methods and another one is the selection methods. In the induction method, synchronization is possible in the exponential phase of the bacterial growth. It is accomplished usually by sudden changes in the environment especially change in the temperature, concentration of the nutrient or illumination for the phototroph. Say for example, illumination makes the phototropic organism to grow synchronously compared to that of the other groups of organisms. The next method is the selection method. Here, cells are physically separated from an exponential phase culture at a particular point in the growth cycle. This could be accomplished by a centrifugation on a density gradient or filtration of cells through a cellulose nitrate filter and inverting it and passing the medium through the filter from the above side. Thus, when cells divide, they fall off the filter giving a continuous supply of the newborn cells. So, this is the basis for the helmstetter cumming technique, which we will try to see detail later. The third one is the filtration of cells of certain sizes or selective adsorption of the cells on the surfaces could also help in obtaining a synchronized culture. Now, we look at the points related to helmstetter cummings technique or baby factory method, which is a commonly used method to obtain synchronous culture. So, this is an excellent and most widely used method in order to obtain a synchronous cultures. Again, we look at the definition of synchronous growth, that is, it refers to bacterial populations divided in such a way all the bacterial cells of the population are physiologically identical and in the same stage of the cell division cycle at any given time. So, already we have seen synchronous cultures may be obtained either by manipulating the environmental conditions such as repeatedly changing the temperature or by adding fresh nutrient to the culture as soon as the cultures are entering into the stationary phase or by physical separation of cells by centrifugation and filtration. helmstetter cummings technique is a physical manipulation technique that usually involves separation of sample of newly formed cells as opposed to other common techniques like separation of sample of small cells by centrifugation. Here, only a newly formed cells will be separated and they will be allowed to grow in a synchronous way. In this technique, unsynchronized bacterial cultures are filtered through a cellulose nitrate membrane filter as it has been shown there in the right hand side diagram. The loosely bound bacterial cells are washed from the filter, leaving some cells that are tightly associated there with the filter. The filter is now inverted and fresh medium is allowed to flow on it. Newly formed bacterial cells by cell division are loosely attached to the filter, can able to be easily washed or eluted there into the effluent. Hence, all cells in the effluent are newly formed and are therefore at the same stage of the cell division and growth. Now, we look at the advantage of using this helmstetter cummings technique. By using this technique, the synchronous culture developed usually experiences a minimum physiological stress. Hence, the behavior of the synchronously formed culture should exactly reflect the normal cell division cycle. Whereas, the main disadvantage is some 
bacteria cannot be synchronized by using the Helmstetter skimming technique. By deriving this technique, Helmstetter skimmings are also found a continuously recycling of the used medium. However, it was not successfully applied there in the bacterial culture multiplication.